So I'd have to say the, the idea for Nee Solo was really born several years ago. In 2010, I moved to Peru to work for a microfinance organization. One thing that really stood out to me were all the micro entrepreneurs I've met along the way who have amazing skill sets or amazing talent but just don't have access um, to the things they need to, to really grow out of poverty. And I started doing a whole lot of research and found out that Trujillo has actually been historically known for shoe production. That there are over 30,000 shoemakers in this same city that are facing a similar situation. I decided to change my career path um, and start a company that would offer access to micro entrepreneurs. The process of making a shoe, there are lots of little detailed steps, but to give an overview, you know, you cut the leather, you sew it together, and you put it on the last. The last is what gives the shoe the shape or the form. After you take the shoe off the last, the heel is attached and the insole is inserted. And then there's just some final buffing and waxing that goes on. The direction the fashion industry is heading is it's just incredibly automated. And the value and the importance that you put on the people making the product. They're cut out of the equation. Their salaries don't matter anymore. A lot of times they're not being fully supported. And the other side of it is also the art of designing a product, of making a product. This shouldn't be as fast, as cheap as possible. If it's something that you want to wear and represent, it should be something that was produced with care and with skill um, and something that you know is going to last you a long time. We created Nisolo to be a champion of artistry and a vehicle that really you know, celebrates true art and, and skill. Musicians are the, are the perfect match for the work that we're doing because they value the same type of creativity. And of course we value the work that they're doing and as a brand we want to do everything that we can uh, to support their work. In Spanish, ni solo means technically neither alone. And the phrase is ni nosotros ni ellos están solos. And so the idea is neither us nor them are alone. In the United States, sometimes we get this idea that we're the only people that exist and that our decisions, our daily decisions as consumers, don't have an effect somewhere else in the world. But the reality is that they do, and that we're not alone. And the flip side uh, of this equation is that, you know, shoemakers and micro-entrepreneurs, they're not alone. There's an amazing pool of talent that exists that hasn't even begun to be tapped into. Um, and so many people that can be brought to the global marketplace. By the time that someone buys an e-solo product or receives it at their doorstep, that product has touched anywhere between 15 and 30 different people's hands along the way on our team alone. And so you can really think about the fact that that is an artistic collaboration and that's how many lives you're impacting with your purchase. I'm Patrick from Nisolo and this is the Kopecky Family Band.
Jan Schrader.